hello to my Aquarius. This is bonus reading time per your request. All right, Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. We are still in a cycle, right? So we had a lot of things happen in this cycle. We started out with a new moon in Pisces, right? And so this is really about believing in yourself, believing that you can release ancestral family childhood traumas, that you can sift through all of that murky water and say, I'm not carrying anybody's trauma. Thank you for the blessings, the gifts, and the talents, but I'm not carrying the um, burdens that come along with it, right? So if you inherited good looks and or whatever, because beauty's in the eye of the beholder, if you inherited a great singing voice or you just know how to play instruments or you uh, inherited a talent, you can just pick up a paintbrush and just paint beautiful art and all this other stuff, you are not, you're learning how to not carry the burden of those gifts that you inherited. You're learning how to um, work through those things and not carrying those, the burdens of the gifts that you inherited, right? All right. So you can get yourselves mentally and physically prepared for the next eclipse, right? Which is April the 8th, right? So while we're still in this cycle, Aquarius, you really want to start thinking, okay, we had a new moon in Pisces. We had a full moon in Libra, right? So I'm trying to live a softer life, right? So I'm not carrying other people's emotional baggage, right? I'm not carrying their toxic water. I'm not carrying their luggage. And we're starting just with your family first and foremost, right? So I know if I don't have the bandwidth, I'm just figuring out how to not, how to release family stuff. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to create space to create, to hold other people's emotional baggage, right? That's, uh, that's uh, whoever's in your life, my managers, my director, my friends, I'm not holding up, I can hold space, but I'm not carrying their emotional baggage and luggage, right? That's going to upset a lot of people, you all being a humanitarian and people knowing that you have a big heart and that you're a giver, Aquarius, that they're going to see this shift in your energy. It's going to set a lot of people off, right? Just so, just so you know, ahead of time as a humanitarian, it's going to set a lot of people off. Why won't Aquarius give me some of their air? Why won't they give me some of their water? How come I can't plug into them as a source? Because you're not their source, right? The sooner you get that in your brains, that you are not people's source, you are a resource. It's like they're a resource to you and the most high God is their source. It's going to be a lot easier for you to move out of that overgiving. Let's go. I've already cleared your energy. I already asked God for clarity in every area of your lives, Aquarius. And so these are the answers to the prayers I prayed for you in terms of your money, love life, family, all of that, everything and all elements of your lives. I've already asked for clarity in all areas of your lives. I'm talking to you wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart. Even if you're on the cusp of Pisces or if you're on the cusp of Capricorn, I'm talking to you. And even if Aquarius is your MC or IC, right? So when you think about your purpose and the perfect job for you, you know, your MC will help you to find the career to see if you're in the right career, or at least give you some kind of guidance to lead you in that. Your MC will do that, right? So don't forget to pull your birth chart, Aquarius. Don't forget to pull your birth chart. The link for pull a free birth chart is below. We also have digital calendars and digital journals for those of you all who want to start journaling your journey. Let's do it. All right, Aquarius. So here we have the eight of pentacles, right? So you know, you're giving light to what you put your uh, spend time on. So here we have the temperance card, right? All right, this gonna be oh, this gonna be a juicy reading. Okay, all right. We also have the ten of cups here. We also have the six of uh, pentacles here. We also have the six of uh, swords here, and we also have the two of swords, right? Six and two of swords, right? So looking at this right here, it looks like when we talk about things that people inherited, you inherited, sources saying you inherited a lot of golden nuggets from your family. Like you inherited a lot of golden nuggets, a lot of wisdom, a lot of, you know, time you've been around your family. And, you know, somebody was in a space where you were looking for family acceptance and family approval, right? Not not paying attention to like all the sword fighting that could have been going on in your own family, right? So that's the thing that that is when you when we talk about your temperance right here, I feel like there's some energies that are saying Aquarius that you have a really bad temper that um, you can't control your temper when you're in spaces and you know, those kind of things. And some people are even going as far enough to say, Aquarius, that you run away from things, you know, when, you know, like you've been, like you, like, see this person on this boat right here? 
you move away from things. Like maybe let's say you grew up in one area, like you move away from things because you can't control your temper and those kind of things, which we know is not the truth at all. You all are humanitarians, but again, source wants you to take the blindfolds off and see where you, did you grow up in a family where there's a bunch of sword fighting? When I mean sword fighting, it's like a lot of cutthroat words were said, a lot of cutting people off, like, you know, like a, just like could have been arguing and those kind of things. And you desire peace. Sometimes you can overstay your time in spaces. This is what somebody desires. You know, like if you all, some of you all noticed that you kind of like exited your family situation and then came back in, that could look like you didn't, um, you didn't, you maybe skipped a couple of holidays or whatever and just said, okay, well, let me dip back in and see if anything has changed. Come back. It's the same sword fighting. Maybe just a different generation. Maybe it was starting out with mom, dad, their siblings, and now it's their kids. It's the same type of energy. And then it's the, their kids, the grandkids, and you see a whole bunch of stuff going on. So when people are saying that, you um that you run away from things because you have a temper that's a bold-faced lie you don't even have to give energy to that people may have been in a chapter of your lives you know here we have the um the two and the two and the the two and eight of swords you're not sabotaging yourself by staying anywhere where people are committed to not seeing your heart if that makes any sense that's family members that's friends that's ex you know, jobs where you worked on, none of those things, because had you cried, we said, we talk about water, had you cried and showed that level of, because anger is, I mean, uh, crying, um, crying like tears, somebody would have judged you for that. Okay. They're a cry baby. When they get mad, they cry and they just run off and hide or they get angry. It's an expression of, it's an expression. It's emotional expression. Or you stop talking to people. They got. They must be mad. You're not carrying that toxicity, right? When people don't want. To, when people are walking around with blindfolds on themselves, they don't want to see your heart, Aquarius. So I definitely see you moving on from that. And so you have a guardian angel that's helping you to see things from the highest frequency and how people spread all kind of rumors and lies about people because they don't want to see the goodness in people because they can't see the goodness in themselves. Somebody has projected that onto them, and now they're trying to project it onto you. You said no. Nah. Nope, that is not me. I'm moving on because a lot of you all have been going through a rite of passage anyway, long before you met certain people. Some of you all were relocating long before people even knew you existed. So you've been, somebody has been moving from one job to the next. So as soon as somebody has said to you, oh, they jumped from job to, they can't keep a job. Some of y'all really internalized that because you were already in motion. Like, okay, I'm getting, I'm here. That's one thing I really like. I know a lot of people say a whole lot of negative things about this generation, but I'm not jumping on that bandwagon. Let's look at it at the highest frequency. That's one of the things I really like about this generation is that they may stay on a job two, three months. They get their training and go to the next job and, 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 you know, say, okay, well, Hey, it was just a, it was a business agreement. Hey, I got what I needed from here. They got their work from me. I got my paycheck. I'm not at, I'm not asking for any more, any less. And I'm closing out a cycle and I'm moving on to the next wealthy place, right? So source is saying to you, if you can kind of adopt a little bit of that kind of mindset, it's like, okay, I got what I needed from my family. They got what they needed from me. I got what I needed from that friendship. They got what they needed from me. So what is, is everything has a cycle. And that's what these moon phases and moon cycles are teaching people. It's like, they're going to be some people that's two sides of the sword, two sides of the sword, right? You have your version of the truth. They have their version of the truth, but guess what? The only ones that matter is yours. That's it. Source inside of you. So source is saying, you know, when people don't realize that you were already in motion and you were already going somewhere and you're operating in purpose, just because they're not ready for the gossiping, the talking to end, and just because they're not ready, Aquarius, for you to keep proving to people that you have a good heart, that you may have changed, that you're no longer hurting, that you're healing, you're in therapy, that don't mean that you need to stand there and prove to people. So hopefully that's deliver somebody from something because that's what's coming up real strong in your reading, Aquarius. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward, Aquarius, because I see, you know, here we have the nine of swords. That's right. Somebody left some nightmares behind. So why would you stay in a nightmare? Yeah, knight, I mean, nine of swords, queen of cups, ten of wands, king of cups. Here we also have the two of cups and also the moon card. Yeah, there's some people still talking about it from the past, right? Some people are still talking about it from the past because they're on this, they're on this, they're not seeing it from 
they're in their feelings. It's hard for them to see things from the highest frequency. They don't want, as long as you were giving, giving, giving your time slash money, looking for people's approval and acceptance, guess what? You were the nicest person in the world, Aquarius. And so drop some comments below because y'all know what I'm talking about because this is what I'm seeing in your reading. As long as you were giving people your time, your energy, wringing your hands together, trying to figure out how can I do a better job for other people, looking for people's approval and acceptance, guess what? You were walking around with a freaking halo over your head. <laughs> but the, the moment, <laughs> Aquarius, you was an angel in disguise. Woo, you came in the nick of time, Aquarius. You pulled through. And because somebody got a lot of gifts and talents, you could be a singer. You could have stood in and been a singer or a musician. You could have been a painter. You could have been a person who knows how to put events together very well. Guess what? You were an angel. You were an angel, right? But remember, in human frailty, when you're when you're hurting and those same exchange of energy, that's what I'm talking about when people, when I talk about being in people's auric layer, you can actually attract other people's demons. You can absorb other people's demons, right? Source is saying to you, listen, now that you're not looking for people's acceptance and approval, guess what? You didn't turn in their eyes, you're the devil. You're going to have to take it all with a grain of salt, Aquarius. Here we have the nine of swords. Now you're a nightmare, you this and that and so on and so forth because you now awakened from a nightmare of people talking about you. You're like, I don't, you deliver from people's opinions of you. So I see you being booked and busy and not burdened at all, Aquarius, whatsoever. You're now pouring into yourself. Like I said, as long as you're pouring and pouring, as <laughs> long as you're pouring into everybody else's earth, helping them to grow their business, this is family members, friends work family, uh, organization family, whatever you belong to, as long as you pouring into everybody else to a point of exhaustion, guess what? Oh my God, we got to invite Aquarius to this. We got to get Aquari Aquarius on, on board with this and that and so on and so forth. So that's something within them. That's something within that has nothing to do with you. Because I feel like somebody's overthinking something, King of Cups, right? So yeah, I definitely feel like somebody is coming into your life, whether it's a, like I said, friendship circle, you know, love interest or whatever, somebody's coming into your life. If you don't already have it, helping you to learn how to pour into yourself first. So develop some kind of a discipline, Aquarius, where you are pouring into you. Take a minute in the morning when you first, your eyes first pop open and you say, okay, what's the first thoughts that's coming through my mind? Can I journal that? Right. So I can get all of that out of my system. Right. Because it's a lot of stuff that's coming through and I need to release that just like you release when you go to the restroom. That portal can be your digital calendar or if you don't have your digital calendar or digital journal or if you don't have one and you have one you write in. That's releasing. Right. Just like you would release when you're releasing waste. Right. It's the same thing. I'm getting that out of me so that I can I'm not I'm not traveling throughout my day with that heaviness. What did that dream mean? What did this mean? I got it out first, right? And 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 your your trusting source is gonna make it clear for you whether it's through this reading, somebody else's reading, somewhere else, but you're not carrying that you're like see on this break, you're traveling light throughout every phase of your day, every moment of your day, you're deciding to travel light. So it is disappointing when you think, wow, you know, I overstayed my time in other people's universe trying to help them and now I'm demonized okay well you let's go with your version of that here we have the two of cups so yeah so source is definitely putting your group of energy so I do see a soulmate coming across your path really helping you you know to stay in that flow of just pouring into yourselves you can't pour from an empty cup people keep hearing that but somehow some people keep going back to this over giver I just gotta I mean I'm a I'm a good person and I gotta show people that I'm a good just be a good person. You don't have to walk around with a high, I'm a good person t-shirt on and flashing neon lights. <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have to do all of that because doing the most, that's doing the absolute most. I got to keep over giving to a point where I'm burned out. And so when you don't get back with in return, you for some of these people, they're so ruthless. You've given some of your people, it's been like a job. See this number eight right here? You got 24 hours in a day if you're measuring time, right? You eight hours of sleep, eight hours of your regular time. But a lot of you all have been giving eight hours to people who now are demonizing you. That could have been volunteering. You know, you could have uh, volunteered that, you know, you could have spent eight hours on the phone with, with somebody or combination of at least eight hours of helping people to build their business, build their brand, doing all kinds of stuff, Aquarius. And now all of a sudden you, you walking around with, um, with a pitchfork. <laughs> 
And that could have been your demon of over nurturing, allowing people to manipulate your emotions, but not anymore. And that lets you know, that lets you know, Aquarius, that that started looking at your reading here. It started between the ages of eight and 14 years old. I think there could have been so much sword fighting going on. You could have, maybe you felt like that's where your gifts were developed. I got to sing. I got to dance. I got to tap dance. I got to do flips. I got to paint. I got to take everybody's mind off of, you know, the, the, all the hurt and the pain that's going on. That's where somebody's gifts, somebody started to developing their gifts. Somebody, that's where somebody had a song in their heart. That's where somebody learned how to paint like a form of escapism, but you don't need to escape the reality that if you're not pouring into people and all of a sudden you demonize, guess what? We're going to go with your version of the story. You just cut yourself out of my universe and I'm going to keep on going about my life. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, that's how some people like it's, it's been a form of payment, even in some people's workplace, you put on that, you know, I think back in the day, sometimes on a resume, people would put like the extracurricular activities or like you, you have this extra gift and talent and so on and so forth. And that made your manager look good. Like, oh, okay. I got an employee in my, um, in my department that can play the piano or that can play this instrument or whatever. So when next time we have a holiday, something that's going to highlight, that's going to show me as favorable. Some of y'all didn't even realize y'all was working. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all didn't, some of y'all didn't even realize y'all working two jobs, two, three jobs. Hey, man. So yeah, no, seriously. But here we have um, Page of Swords right here. Some of y'all, but the moment you said, hey, um, I'm not available or I want to go to a different department, all of a sudden you demonize. Why? Because you're not making them look good anymore. Or some of you all in other industries, why right? it could be a textile industry or the beauty industry or whatever the case may be. The first time you said no, all of a sudden you're a demon, right? So hopefully that will take somebody's anxiety away. Whatever and you've been praying for, your anxiety will be going away very, very soon. Whatever you've been praying for. There's two types of situations you're leaving behind. People who don't necessarily believe that they have purpose on this planet. So therefore, they want to make sure they keep you under their thumb by helping you to make you feel like you don't have purpose on this planet. So you're leaving all that behind. That's right. Here we go. The Empress card. Yeah, some things was passed down through that that um was passed down through that through that umbilical cord from both sides of the family. But see again, you operating in your light is exposing a lot of people's demons of and the demons would be like they they're fearful. They are a lot of people you're I, I'm looking at your cards here, you know, Aquarius. Um you try to help inspire a lot of people how to help people to see the greatness within themselves. The moment you start to realize if I keep having to light your flame and you keep extingu extinguishing the flame because I see greatness in you and I'm trying to motivate you, you know, and they keep extinguishing the flame, then I need to move on in love, right? I need to move on in love, right? Before it gets to a place where now I feel almost it's a, it's a codependency at this point, right? It's a codependency. And um, so, yeah, I feel like the moment somebody stopped looking for acceptance and approval from family, whether it's your blood relative, family, somebody else's family, church, mosque, temple, family, job, family. Once you stop looking for approval, so it's like a whole world open up to you because now I got books in me. I got songs in me. I got painting. I need a, you know, I got paintings in me. I got you know, event planning in me. I got this in me and that in me because again, you know, you're not, um, you're not, and I, and I see somebody, like I said, you're physically moving on from some things. So congratulations to you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Let's see what else we got going on here. Here we have the nine of swords. Yeah. Some energies right now that's going through a nightmare right now because you operating in your light where you feel like it's not your responsibility anymore to hold on to other people's emotional baggage and burden. I feel like a lot of you all, here we have the um, Wheel of Fortune here, right? So you're definitely feeling very fortunate to have a guardian angel on the other side to help you to see things from the highest point, Aquarius, it's from the highest point, right? We know that the sun actually illuminates the moon. So we'll put these two here, right? So the sun illuminates the moon. You actually feel a lot better when you start believing in yourself. So even if nobody believed in you, right? And that's part of the conditioning. Even if nobody believed in you, Aquarius, you believe in yourself. And so therefore, like I said, you've awakened from a nightmare because you saw where it first came from. You saw where that nightmare, that, that way of thinking first came from. So yeah, let's see what else we got going on here, Aquarius. Let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, that came from family. That came from family. This is at the bottom of the, um, this right here was at the bottom of the, the, the pile right here. Here we have the five of pentacles, right? So yeah, so... That lets me know that once somebody recognizes that, because I'm seeing where 
what what was a tip off for somebody is that when you're in spaces where people intentionally go cold, whether it's a job or this or that, like I said, some of y'all, as long as y'all, y'all put in that little section of your resume, some of y'all put in there, oh, I played a keyboard or I played a piano or, you know, I played a saxophone or I paint or whatever your gifts and talent is. Somebody put that on. Somebody says, oh, we're going to definitely choose that candidate. We don't care whether they qualify for the job. Hey, everybody here faking it till they make it, right? That's what some of y'all worked in some places that said that. Oh, but if they're going to make me look better because of their gifts and talents, hey, well, let's, let's hire that person, right? So, yeah, so as long as you were there doing that, then, like I said, you were wearing a halo over your head. But as soon as you stopped, you were demonized, right? So as long as you know that, you know, Aquarius, and again, that's some form of payment, but that's a gold digging energy as well. G-O-A-L, there was a goal in mind. If I can choose this candidate to do X, Y, and Z, it's going to show favorable. I don't care if they're not qualified or not. If I can somehow mo make money off of their back like they're a horse, sea biscuit, right? Where I think horses like sweat like a gallon of water every hour, right? As long as you sit somewhere like you got, you know, like somebody's pouring water on a sponge on your head and you just drenched in sweat. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness. So I, de I definitely feel like, I feel like uh, musically somebody, somebody going to be connected to music in some way, shape, from a fashion and, um, and, and recognize that it's like, yeah, some people will use, they have, it's just, it's not just G O L D diggers. It's G O A L diggers. So I definitely feel like somebody is learning that, you know, it's just like how people will try to manipulate you and try to give you the cold shoulder. If they can't use you in some way, shape, from a fashion, if they can't use it. They're going to demonize you. And unfortunately, that has been a lot of people's paths. I'm going to ruin them if I can't use them. So, so, but again, so sources saying, well, that's what people are trying to say about you, Aquarius, that you, one, you have a temper, right? And so you're fortunate to recognize that once I realize that the, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like some energies are trying to give me the cold shoulder. That's what I feel like for you all, Aquarius. And let me just go ahead and move on from this. It's not that you're running away from anything. You're just recognizing I'm not holding space for that. I'm not being manipulated anymore. Booked and busy, not burdened at all. Yep, you and somebody are coming together, whether it's in business and or in love. And also, like I said before, it's agape love, really. But you and somebody are coming together to just recognize that, hey, things will come to you. First, it comes as information that, okay, now it's time for you to move on from something because now people are starting to use you, you know, and you're getting burned out and you're heading harder at war with each other and and then once you start getting into that space of really thinking, you don't even have to say it out of your mouth, I'm a good person and I have to keep proving to people I'm a good person, that's when you remove yourself from the equation because now you're tipped over into codependency land, okay? Now you're developing this cord between you and them that eventually you're going to have to cut. And guess what? When you decide to cut it, you're demonized, but when they decide to cut it, then whatever. So I'm telling you, sources saying, take control over your universe. Take control over your universe. Take control over your universe. So you and somebody coming together have gone through enough nightmares of feeling like you were going crazy and both of you all will be booked and busy. And you're saying, I'm not, you're not long, no longer doing any injustice to yourselves. No longer doing injustice to yourselves at all. You know, so two types of situations you're saying you're no longer doing, because those are karmic ties, right? See that word karmic here? Karma. That's a karmic tie to when God tells you, Okay, when you start to think, okay, I feel like this is an imbalance and I'm doing an injustice to myself to a point I'm indecisive in my personal or professional life. Personal could be love relationship, family relationship, y'all know, platonic, romantic, y'all know. And then also my work relationship, <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing an injustice to myself. I feel like I'm sweating a, a gallon of water every single hour. And, and I'm, and I'm, nobody even got a fan to try to help me. Nobody's bringing me any water. I'm sitting here spiritually dehydrated. I need to move on at that very moment. I need to move on because then you start to develop a reputation that, oh, you know, you just, you just, you can, uh, you can give them a French fry and they'll work. <laughs> y'all know I'll be trying to make y'all laugh Aquarius, but it's really not funny when you in it. You know, but seriously, you know, you know, I just give them a French fry or a chicken nugget and, and, they'll, <laughs> and they'll work to a point of exhaust. <laughs> 
that day is gone. That day is gone, Aquarius. Gone are those days. So yeah, so yeah. You don't have to prove to people you have a good heart. You you know you have one. Four of cups, eight of cups. Here we have the nine of cups. Here we have the strength card, the sun card, and then a six of cups, right? Yeah, so I definitely feel like your wishes are being fulfilled, whatever those wishes may be. I feel like, um, so sit down and write those wishes down, you know, that you are not carrying other people's, you know, um, to be able to spot, you know, energies that have a goal to use you in some way, shape, from a fashion where it's an imbalance. You're no longer, you know, you're praying that source exposes a, a, a karmic union, whether it's in business and or in love. Um, um, and I'm talking about agape love, all forms of love, erotic love, agape love, those kind of things. You're not doing any more injustices to yourselves, carrying other people's burdens. Here we have the six of cups. So I definitely feel like you're moving forward in childlike faith. Um, after walking away from some disappointments, it's like somebody woke up one night and said, we're talking about the eight of cups now. Somebody woke, woke up one night and said, hey, listen, I have way too many things to be happy. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm walking away from disappointments. I'm not even holding that disappointment of people trying to, they want you, the sun, moon, and stars to revolve around them. Yeah, you're not doing that. You are not doing that. Somebody is recognizing that um, your, your vulnerability is actually your strength. Your vulnerability is actually your strength. And so if it involves you not even being able to be vulnerable in front of people in your personal or your professional life without them taking advantage of certain things, you know, taking advantage of your vulnerability. Like, for instance, what's coming to me is like somebody could have been working on a job where um, <clears throat> you were just an overgiver on the job. But you may have lost a loved one and just that, you know, and or maybe needed to take off from work for whatever period of time. Maybe you had a baby or, you know, maybe you're the other parent of the child and you want to just take some leave or whatever the case may be. And that very moment people had to find out that you weren't really appreciated at all. And sometimes it's the same thing in your family. It's like this, the moment you, you have to bow out or you can't do something, you can't bring the potato salad or the macaroni and cheese, or, you know, you didn't, you didn't, you weren't the, the entertainment. Then all of a sudden, like I said, demonized, right? Or like they, they don't, you know, they don't have, again, because again, a part of it is, like I said before, here we have the four of cups and the eight of cups. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. That's bottom line. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. A lot of things are happening now in the universe, you know, where people are starting to recognize, I have been attracting the energy I've been sending out. So if you've been sending out a bunch of hurt, woe is me, I have a big heart and you know, and you sitting around with sword wounds all over you and you're looking for people to carry, bring some clean water to you. That water was like somebody poured um, clear, um, clear poison on open wounds. And so you're learning how to, and a lot of times you didn't realize that until um, you, you told people that you were hurting, that you lost loved ones, that you were depressed or sad or you know, had to go to a doctor's appointment or whatever. Sometimes you don't feel that what, what you thought was clear water was actually clear poison until that hits that open wound. And all of a sudden that thing starts sizzling, right? You're like, oh my God, right? And so just like, oh, okay, I'm awake now. I'm awake now. So anyway, so your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. You're going after exactly what your, the wishes, your wishes are actually being fulfilled. So here we also have the four of cups right here. So, um... Yeah, so like I said, Source is building your community right now. Source is actually building your community right now. Like I said, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. And the first energy Source is going to send across your path is a soulmate, right? So now that your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. So nice. Yeah. Your whole community, like I said before, that Source is building for you is amazing, Aquarius. It is. Your wishes are being fulfilled. And it's not even just in a romantic sense. Like you've awakened from the nightmare. You've moved on from a lot of things. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, yeah, but that's interesting that that card would come out. Like some people, like I said before, there are some people who I even feel like there's some people who are have said about you now that you say, that's not my responsibility, right? And I feel like the energies that's coming together, y'all are talking the same, y'all are on the same frequency. Like it's not their responsibility to hold the emotional baggage of people trying to make you feel guilty for, you know, pouring everything you had into people into eat. I feel like somebody was just around a bunch of um, uh, energy vampires. 
I feel like people were just around a bunch of energy vampires. And when you really sit down in your journaling and you go back in your mind, you were like, wow, yeah, I did seem like some people were just checked out. I feel like also, let's take it a little deeper too, since I'm looking at this particular card right here with this five of pentacles. I feel like because... I feel like there were some energies that if you start to really realize that some of that, what you thought was clear water was, um, was not what you thought it was. It's like somebody putting, um, like I saw something recently on, um, I think I don't, I saw it recently. I think it's on Instagram or it's like one of the reels on YouTube or whatever, like where people were talking about how you can bring alcohol on the, um, on a cruise ship and, and people not know that you bring an alcohol on a cruise ship, right? I feel like somebody being around energy vampires didn't even realize that when you're in certain spaces that you thought was like a family situation, it was not a family situation whatsoever. It's like conditioning you that when you're emotionally drained, here, take this drink, here, take this medication, here, take this, anything that's going to alter you in a sense that make you seem like you were the crazy one when you start to awaken to like, wow, I didn't even realize I was being used, right? I didn't even think I, I didn't even realize I was being, you know, controlled, you know, in a sense, right? Being around predatory energy, people who prey on people's perceived weaknesses, I feel like I'm also being led to tell you all, Aquarius, that be very careful about discussing your mental health with people because that's the way, like when you're telling people, when you first, you know, if you're hurting and you just enter into spaces and people are like, well, I just had a loved one that transition or I just had a whatever, whatever, because people prey on that kind of stuff. Like what have they done to earn that level of access to you all, Aquarius, for you to start telling all of this stuff? It is, this levels to this, right? So stay on your throne of just remembering some things that I'm seeing here in your cards because I see you building a very rich legacy uh, with someone. I see now that you're not looking for people's approval, but I also see there's some energies that want to be connected to you. It's it's I'm trying to see how I can explain this because it's kind of a it's a weird dynamic to this. So as you have awakened to your purpose on planet earth, it's just, it's somebody is, you got some very obsessed energy. They're obsessed with you all Aquarius because it's like, okay, I know that Aquarius knows their purpose on planet earth, but I resent the fact that I wasn't the one to almost like, um, take them through this initiation process of like, um, I got all this dirt on Aquarius. I know this. I put them in these very precarious positions and I was able to do so on and so forth. So this should never for you, Aquarius, be like hashtag goals. When you think about anybody, any people, places, or things, hashtag, that's my goal to work for that organization. Hashtag, that's my goal to be in that industry. Hashtag, that's the goal, the kind of marriage I want. Hashtag, I want to be like that person. No, you only want to be like source in you, Right. So you want to be the best humanitarian for you so that you can share that gift, that very unique gift of sharing with the world. So Source is trying to tell you there's no more hashtags. I want to be like that. I want to be a part of this hashtag. I want to be a part of that because what I'm seeing is that somebody is starting to learn the price, the heavy price that people had to pay to get into other people's vault door. You're not trying to sit at someone else's table because you have your own table, Aquarius. And if we're not talking crown to crown, and I'm talking about crown, you know, we're talking about crown chakra to crown chakra, then no. Nah. Nope. There's enough people out here that want to be recruited by people like that. And sources say you're not one of them. And that's what make people want to to be want you to be a part of their team, but also resent you because they know that you woke enough Aquarius to know, okay, I can spot game a mile away. I can spot that. You already found that out in your own family. You can already spot that. But but at the same time, it's the resentment because of what other people had to do to get to that, to get inside other vault doors. You're not interested in going in through anybody else's vault door if they don't see you. They don't see your potential. They don't see your heart. They don't see your gifts and talents. You're not interested because so that's what, that's how I feel like somebody's going to start leveraging some things in the workplace. It doesn't matter what your industry is. Okay. I got all these gifts and talents. What do I get for all these gifts and talents? Right? So, you know, if you're a singer, 
okay, what am I going to get for X, Y, and Z? Because cause you getting something. So if you're not going to pay me what I'm asking for, guess what? I forgot the song. And I'm not trying to be funny. If, if you, if, if you want me to work on this, whatever job industry or whatever, if I'm in this industry, I'm getting paid for what I'm worth. But if you asking me to do extra and above, does that mean, and I need you to put that in writing that I'm guaranteed to get a raise because this is going above and beyond how much raise are we talking? Know your worth. That's what source is trying to tell somebody. So it's a lot of people that want to connect with you right now in Aquarius, but there's some obsessive energies that feel like. Aquarius didn't have to do the same things to gain entry. That's why I keep saying, stop saying hashtag. I want to be like that person. Cause you see his stuff on social media, hashtag. I got to be like, no, you do not. Source is saying your gifts from God are actually making room for you, Aquarius. And some people feel some kind of way. This came out the bottom of the deck, right? Some people definitely had a plan for you. They were thinking that you was the one that just wanted to be a part of something. No, you're not. You're not a pick me. You are not a pick me. Please pick me. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> pick me. Pick, 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 pick me. You're not, you're not them. Right? So you have purpose. And the moment you discover it and you start believing in yourself and have purpose, it exposed a lot of how people felt about themselves. They had nothing to do with you. So somebody definitely has... Somebody definitely has some energies that are, um, this was at the bottom. It's not even by coincidence, succubus energy, right? And source needs you to keep on moving forward. Somebody apologize because things are flowing to you, right? Somebody apologizes for betraying you. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. And we know that succubus is a female, um, a female sex demon. So when we're talking about auric layers, Aquarius, and we talked about this one time before, again, um, a person only has to be two to three inches off of your, um, that auric layer, that emotional body, the sacral chakra, two, three inches off of, you know, off of your physical body. That's even talking on the telephone because that's a portal too, right? To pick up on unprocessed feelings from your past. And so that layer can also shift moods, but guess what? You have the advantage of picking up on their emotional unprocessed feelings from their past as well. That's how that mood shifts, right? You hit, you pick up on the inflections of people's voices. That's how people are able to absorb and send out, absorb, send out, send, receive, right? So source is saying, hey, look, when we're talking about, and then imagine if you physically connected to that energy, right? So being one to two, three inches off. So you standing next to somebody at work and y'all just standing next to each other or somebody helping you to set up your equipment because maybe you're a musician, somebody helping you set up your equipment, which by the way, you didn't even realize you were actually being hired for. You were just like, oh, I'm just so glad that they chose me for this particular job. And next thing you know, you plan it every holiday function while your manager standing over there with their arms folded, talking to an executive, you know, with their showing all 32 teeth, laughing all extra hard. You don't even know. <laughs> you, oh, my God. You don't even know what they laughing at. They ain't even let you in on a joke because you are the joke. So, yeah, oh, you were but not anymore. So yeah. So yeah. All right, Aquarius. Yeah. Y'all out here doing it. Y'all know, y'all know what it is. So there's some people who are very obsessed with you because it's a, it's a lot of movement going on in your reading Aquarius. When I look at your cards here, that's why source is saying, take the blindfolds off because some of y'all didn't feel safe in your own family. And all of a sudden, and now that you're the way that you're going about it, people are like, I want to realign myself with Aquarius. If you didn't feel safe in your own family, and you've learned how to be in thrive mode without your own family. Keeping it on a throne and adjusting your crown, Aquarius, it would be carrying their emotional baggage. So it would actually slow you down, right? So you can close out cycles in love. You don't have to resent your family. You don't have to be angry with them for not believing that they too could pray their way through situations that they, and you can even send prayers to them if you want to. But again, source needs you to keep on moving forward. So it needs you to keep on moving forward. Some of your, some of you all may have thought, I think I did a reading for you. I don't know if it's this reading or previous reading or the, or the first reading, whatever it was about, but you may have thought it was a stolen inheritance, right? But some inheritances aren't really, well, when you think about the burden that comes along with the inheritance and just what it, what that, what that means for you. So it's like, you already in your vault door. I see somebody building a very rich legacy. 
Yep, people are having a tower moment right now, and you are divinely protected. Some people are now having an awakening that they didn't have to do some of the things that they did to get into certain spaces. And they're looking at you. Like I said, the more that people keep talking negatively about you, they're trying to break their fall. They're going through a tower moment. But your awakening is, you know what? I'll wait. If I got to do that to get into this or gain access to this, I'm good. Just like, just like, because again, God is revealing to people, most high God is revealing to people that your gifts make room for you, right? Here we have mother of sticks right here. So here you are, your throne feeling happy, charismatic and free. And, you know, and then you got, you know, some people out here, like I said before, you know, they, they walking around with, you know, with, with sword, they still in that sword fighting kind of mentality. So I definitely feel like you got to be aware of some energies that's just kind of like, you know, they're going through some stuff and they still trying to cut you down with their words and their action, you know, their behavior and source is trying to tell you to move on from those types of energies. Yeah. So, yeah. So we also have seven of knives too, right? So, um, like I said, it's two types of energies you need to move on here. We have the seven of sticks as well. So this is seven of wands. So source is showing you a lot of things in your spirit to, to help you to defend your decision to move on from some things without coming across as defensive. And so it's definitely some judgment coming down on some energies that harshly judged you Aquarius for saying, you know what, I'll stand out. I will wait on source before, because you're, you know, like I said, here we have the Dr. Buzzard here. Things are actually, like I said, justice and judgment in your favor. Somebody's going to feel very, very fortunate that you're, um, that, um, you are divinely protected through some stuff. Yep. Yep. Somebody had, yeah. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. 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 Um, yeah, somebody definitely has a guardian angel that's watching over them. You got two guardian angels actually that's watching over you and protecting you. You know, from a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff you're being protected from. Wow. A lot of stuff you're being, um, you know, protected from. You got a lot of major things that's happening in your life. A lot of things, major, a lot of major arcana, a lot of major events that's going on in your life, um, Aquarius. And so, huh, wow. Um... Like I said, in all fairness to anybody that may have had to go through, you know, a lot of different types of, um, you know, things, you know, just to get to where they are. This is not, like I said before, you're not, um, you, you're just going to feel very fortunate. Like I said, you're going to feel very fortunate. You have, um, you know, as far as two situations are concerned, because people have just chosen to think the worst about you. They've they people have called you a sucky bitch. They call you that's just saying that you have a sex addiction, Aquarius. When some of y'all been celibate for years, you know, some of y'all haven't even been because now you're starting to understand auric layers, and or some of you all are already married, and just people just don't know that you're married, and you you and your person been in y'all relationship and just been going strong, just the two of you all for years, and people just don't know. They assume whatever they feel like they want to assume about people, and you've already moved on with your life because you're not carrying that burden, and they're just being, you know, like I said, people can't figure out for the life of them, right? And so, um, yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody has gone through, wait a minute, hold on. Somebody has definitely gone through, um, you know, cutting ties with certain energies. This is the Empress card came out twice. Somebody has a lot of gifts and a lot of gifts and talents were passed down to you. A lot of people, are, like I said before, a lot of gifts and talents were passed down to you, but maybe the burden of those gifts and talents, um, um, somebody, I feel like somebody has indigenous roots. Um, and like I said before, there's a lot of energies that were trying to hang you out to dry, Aquarius. A lot of energies, they were harshly judging you, saying all kinds of horrible stuff about you, Aquarius. And it's still to this day still doing it because you did not have to do the same thing certain energies had to do to um, to get to where they're going. But the 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 reason why you're not harshly judging people is because you they had access. They come from prayer warriors just like you come from prayer warriors, right? They could have done the same thing. So you're you're not you're not going backwards to you know any type of energy that you that you um, that you could feel like you know are um 
um, you know, are harshly judging you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. In any way, way shape, form, or fashion. So, yeah, so we have, um, you know, your high priestess gifts. And then also the, um, this is your high priestess gifts. Somebody's high priestess gifts was actually developed when they were a kid. This is somebody, somebody learned how to, somebody learned about your spiritual gifts when you were a kid. <clears throat> Meaning like you, you learned them. What was also, um, <clears throat> the gifts that were passed down to you all Aquarius from, um, <clears throat> hmm. The gifts that were passed down to you, <clears throat> and this is again from your guardian angels on the other side. This is good. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying not to extend this reading for you all. I know this is a bonus, but this is really good. <clears throat> I feel like somebody had a really close relationship with their grandmother. I'm not sure who I'm talking to. Take only what resonates with you. Somebody had a real close relationship with their grandmother, and their grandmother taught them a lot of stuff. Right, and that was passed down to you. See, <clears throat> yeah, some, a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of, and that's why somebody feels very fortunate to have, you know, a grand, that kind of a grandmother in somebody's life to teach you things, right? Because um, I see a lot of sword fighting, a lot of manipulation, a lot of you trying to pour, soothe other people's pain, possibly in your family. And that's why somebody's like, you know, you don't run at the first sign of trouble. You just recognize that, hey, you, you've already left that behind in your own family. And so you're not running. So like I said, you always, you always been in forward motion, Aquarius. So when people say stuff like, oh, they just run from the sign of trouble. No, you're not running from anything. You've already been through enough nightmares. Here we have 999. Nine, nine. You're very unique. Here we have seven and two is nine. Here we have nine of swords and then nine of swords here. I need more than two hands, but y'all know what I'm saying. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah. When you when you recognize that you've come out of some nightmares in your life, and you're recognizing you're you're not passing that on to anybody, you know, whoever God has assigned in your life to help you to, you know, like I said, whether it's people at work, some of y'all are telling y'all colleagues like you don't have to stay on this job for this, you know, they you know you're not being paid what you're worth, and you're frustrated, you're taking all that stuff home, you know, you don't have to stay in such and such organization or whatever. So somebody, yeah, somebody's plan to disrupt your money, it backfired. Yeah. Create the change that you want, right? Much better lies ahead. Much better lies ahead. It's time to release the burden, right? So yes, yeah, time to release the burden. You're protected by angels, Aquarius. You're protected by angels. You're healing from the pain that some people caused, right? So get locked in and get focused. Yeah. And so you have the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, emotions, moods, and feelings, right? Even if they don't say it, you pick up on that, that clairsentience, right? And clair would be clarity. You have clarity of that. Because again, when people think that you run at the first sign of trouble, sources saying you've been moving all along. You've been moving. So, oh, they just, they picked up on something. They judging me and, and, and they, I can tell that they can't stay in a relationship. I don't care if you've been married 55 times. I don't care. I don't care if you dated and you was the runaway bride or runaway groom. Somebody has gone through enough, witness enough sword fighting that you know your power, you know your worth, Aquarius. And so you're like, I'm not standing in any situation. That's you. You're not staying in any situations where you feel like, hey, I can already see. Nah, I, the, you ain't trying to live some struggle. Hashtag, I want to be, um, <clears throat> I want to be in situation just for the sake of just saying you in situation. Some of y'all are married and people don't even realize it. Some of y'all are single and happily single and people don't realize it. So there it is. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Those are the messages from your ancestors on the other side. They're saying luck is on your side, right? And so um, people can't figure out for the life of you because they've been running around saying you're a sex demon. You must have slept to get in that position at work. You must have slept your way to get there. You must be with somebody that you having to do sexual favors for. They're speaking about themselves. Here we have the oak. Right, 27. Don't just look within, dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. Yeah. So, yeah, you're definitely like taking on other people's demons. Definitely not taking on other people's demons, but somebody discovered their gift as a child and it was passed down through somebody's grandmother. Very strong gifts. Very, very strong gifts, right? 
<clears throat> I trust my inner wisdom to guide me. Yeah, you definitely got some angels on the other side. And it was some gifts passed down to you. Let me make sure we got everything. Yeah, the gifts passed down to you. Yeah, you're not... If people focused on the gifts, the, the blessings that were passed down to them through their bloodline, they'd be stop, want, stop thinking that you're lucky because it's not luck, right? So, yeah, so it's time for you to aim higher, dream bigger, aim higher, and go for what you want. Yep. So sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're, you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the universe. You've learned how to surrender to source, right? And so then you want people, some people want you to surrender to them, surrender to their will as if you're there, if they're your God, that's not going to happen today, tomorrow, next week, or any other day. So you've already been through enough nightmares, Aquarius, and you're not going through somebody's process of going through other nightmares. So here we have 88. I am wealthy. There it is. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring financial and material success um, into your life, Aquarius. So yeah, 88, 88, wealth, 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 right? Wealthy minded. And there's some wealthy minded energies that's connecting with you right now in Aquarius. So let's see what else we got. So yeah, um, so Aquarius, that was the issue. The fact that energies want you to surrender to their will when you wise enough. This is what we talk about wisdom. I trust my inner wisdom, which gets so yeah, so you see how things are coming full circle for you all, Aquarius, is that there are some energies that number 88, when you turn it to the side, looks like the infinity symbol, right? But eight also connects us with karmic cycles, right? When you surrender, the reason why there's people are having a tower moment is because they're in karmic, they're in karmic cycles of surrendering to human instead of surrendering to God's will, most high God for their life. We're not talking about religion either, you know? And so you're in a, you're in a good karmic cycle where things are happening for you. And people are thinking that it's luck when you're surrendering to source, like you woke up and say, okay, source, how can I surrender to, what can I do to serve you better? How can I sharpen myself to become a better human being for mankind? When other people are on the phone, talk on the horn, talking about you, talking about this, talking about that, so on and so forth. And Aquarius is this. And you know, we want them. Some people want, they like, we want Aquarius to be a part of our group, but they too rebellious. They run at the first sign of trouble. They this and that. And can we, can we, you know, they got this kind of a background. So people are definitely, Definitely looking you up, trying to find out who you're associated with, with family you came from. They trying to see if you got criminal records. They talking about talking to other people. Talk. It's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. Just completely obsessed with trying to make a decision about you while you got other energies and that obsession can turn into bullying and people just kind of like, it's my way or the highway. And so it's a, it's a lot of moving parts to all this. I don't you see this tower card and things are kind of come trump, tumbling down. But it's really, it's not that God is trying to bring them to their knees. Not necessarily. Source is giving people an opportunity to say, okay, this right here is an enigma. Aquarius, you. This right here is an enigma. There, Things are happening. I think I did in one of your all reading that Source is sending a lot of wealth in your uh, across your path to show you that, you know, just following Source's way. Most high gods, when I'm talking about Source, following Source's way is the true wealth, right? Not, I got to go through, jump through this fiery hoop and that fiery hoop that man is holding, human is holding. And so that's why you keep seeing, you know, a lot of wealth come out in your cards. And that's why a lot of people think that you think that you're better than they are. Psst, listen, I, then they really don't understand the mind of an Aquarius. If they really think that you're harshly judging them and thinking that you think you're better than they are, they really don't get you Aquarius. And it's not your job to prove to anybody that that's not even your, that's not even your heart towards mankind that you think that you're better than somebody else. You just stop looking for people's acceptance and people's approval because you found your purpose. And that feels much better. That feels more healing for you to operate in your sunlight, sun sign. Some of you all are actually in your perfect job because you know your MC right? Your MC. I got a lot of information on my second channel. You know, your MC, you know, your IC, you know what your moon sign is. You know how to nurture yourself. You know how to mother and father yourself because source told you how to taught you how to do it. Right? So yeah, 
that's why I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from some things without even coming across as defensive. And some people are like, oh, hey, lucky. It's like, God, we just, how, how does, what is, what is Aquarius doing? What, what are they doing? What are they doing? Wow. The never, the thought never comes across people's mind is that they have the same access to source inside of them that you have access inside of you. It just never even dawned on some people. Like, it's just like, it's just like so foreign to some people. You would think it was a, you think you would think it was calculus for real. You would think it was, I can't even say sacred geometry because you would, you would honestly think that it was pre-calculus or calculus, or you would think it's some, some kind of like mystery to people that when you surrender to sources will for your life, their, your gifts are making room for you. It's just, it's, I'm telling you, people have heard this their whole lives, but they don't believe it. Why? Because people get tired of waiting on God. And I'm not trying to preach to anybody. I'm not even talking about religion. Somewhere something got tangled up for real. Something got tangled up. So yeah, so these are the same people, like I said before, you said, hey, I'm going to get off the fence we're talking about seven and four, which is 11, 11, those two pillars. You said, I'm going to get off the fence. I'm going to stop overthinking what ideas about people have about your spirituality and you are taking action to stay in your light. That's where you are, Aquarius. You're staying in your light. That's why you can feel happy, charismatic, and free. You're not even comparing yourself to anybody. So anybody that's like, oh, well, I know this about Aquarius and I know, let them carry that bag. You're not, you're not on that frequency because you're not care, you're not looking up people's background, trying to see what they know, what they it's already source is already the source is the one that's exposing it to you. It may come in different modes, like through a reading or you know, people go see psychics or they may hear it in a sermon or, you know, or you may read books and it can come clear to you through your meditation and that kind of stuff. But source is saying to you, much better lies ahead. Anybody that's calling you a succubus, it takes one to know one. I mean, that's, that's it. You know, everybody has demons. Here we have keep moving forward. We get locked in and laser focus. Here we have things are flowing to you like water. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. Um, you're protected by angels. They're planning to disrupt your money backfire because, and then also you're healing from the pain some people cause. Disrupting your money is not just paper and coins money, Aquarius. Disrupting your money is also in the form of your time. Time is money. So some people were definitely trying to cut your time in half, like really trying to distract you, right? Distract you from your purpose here on this planet, right? Nine of, um, here we have the nine of swords, the king of swords, the ace of swords, the four of hearts. We also have the two of hearts, the ace of hearts, right? Yeah, we also have the queen of hearts. Here we also have the four of spades. We also have the ten of hearts, the five of hearts. We also have the um, the knight of cups. We also have the four of, um, the, 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 the knight of spades. We also have the ten of spades. We also have the... Um, for um, the four of wands and also the two of spades, right? So source is saying to you, with all the, the all the hurt and stuff that you've gone through in the past, I'm pulling out all the spades cards. You got to call a spade a spade, which means you're calling it for what it really is. You've gone through enough pain and you are not going to stand by and be a Judas in your own circle anymore. Let's just, just clear it all the way up. You're not going to be a Judas in your own circle anymore. Once you crack the code and realize that source is the way to go, that's who you bowing down to. That's who you're saying. That's what I'm that's what I'm following. Oh, you are your throne right here. You are your throne of your thinking. So nah. That's so when people because there's some energies, like I said, they want you hurt, Aquarius. They do, because they like, okay, if, if people forced us to bow down the way that we, because of the, what they had to go through, they gonna they I feel like there's some energies that's saying, You're gonna surrender to us. We're gonna break you. That's what they're trying to say. But source is saying you're divinely protected. You don't have anything to worry about. So that's not your responsibility for why people think the way that they do. They do. Source is just getting you as far away from those type, keeping you away from those energies fast. You know, and just any type of energy like them. Any type of energy that's like that. And I feel like where you are, Aquarius, you already rec you recognize that energy miles away. Because these are a bunch of energy vampires. So as you're having dreams about certain spaces that you used to want to be in Aquarius and sorts of showing you faces and all that stuff. And you're like, oh my God, I remember I used to want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of that. 
then that's when somebody is saying, that's when somebody is saying, you know, um, oh, wow, not anymore, right? Not anymore. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of temptation, you know, around you, Aquarius, a lot of temptation for people. You're getting your wishes fulfilled, but that's not a wish for you. The thing, the places you wish that you used to be, you're grateful that that's not where you are anymore and wishing to be a part of some stuff. So you definitely learn how to save yourself and sources putting you around a new group of energies, totally different new group of energy. So I definitely feel like you're on your throne and just, um, you know, protecting your energy. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, so somebody definitely has a lot of help on the other side, really helping you. You have a lot of ancestors around you. That's very proud of you all Aquarius. There's some eight people that's still here on this side. That's apologizing, you know, to you. And, um, but of course you got people that's calling you a succubus. So, I mean, what you supposed to do with all that? I mean, if they want to hold that, then hey, whatever. They want to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. So they think that, you know, there's the same ones that's calling you a succubus want to sleep with you. So, I mean, go figure. They calling you garden tools, all kinds of stuff, but they want to sleep with you. So, I mean, pick a struggle. <laughs> Pick a struggle. They want to sleep with your Aquarius, but they tell you a pass around. You you want to be a part of this and you want to be a part of that. All you can say is take one and no one. Everybody has demons, right? So not even not that may not even be your demon. But if a person thinks it's your demon, then if they that's what they want to carry and that's what they want to believe, then let's let them go ahead and believe it. So here we have patience. I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good. Because it is. Yep. It's working for your highest good. So you're divinely protected, Aquarius. You got a lot of help on the other side. Um, sources saying you do, some, somebody feels lucky, you know, um, to be able to get away from those types of energies. And, um, and good for you. You know, good for you. And, um, and I definitely feel like whoever made it to the other side with you in terms of like, um, friends or family or whatever, whoever made to this phase of your life with you, they also going to feel very, very, pri you know, privileged as you have, you feel privileged to have them in your life. They also feel privileged to have you in their lives. You're not, nobody's bowing down to you. You don't even, that's not even a frequency that you're on Aquarius. So good for you. That's what I have for you all. Let's see if there's a number in the last card and let's go ahead and close it out. So do we get a number? No yeah, we did get a number here. 88, right? I am wealthy because you are. That's right. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video, Aquarius. Bye.